Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. This is a medical video lecture orthopedics. Okay, so today's topic of discussion is inter condyla condyla fracture of humerus okay so it is also a common fracture in adults so remember the fracture of this condyle that is known as the intercondylar fracture can result from fall on the point of the elbow okay so that the olecranon process is driven into the distal humerus okay it's nothing but a fall how does it cause is a fall on the point of the elbow so that olecranon olecranon is driven into the what you call distal humerus let me draw and show you the condyles over here right okay so this is a fracture over here this fracture this fracture okay and this fracture is a T shape. There are two types, one a T and a Y. Okay. So this is what the, this is humerus. Okay. These are the condyles. Condyles. Okay. And here you get radius and all now, right? So this is known as the intercondylar fracture. So it results from a fall on the point of the elbow so that the olecranon process is driven into the distal humerus. So thus it splits the humeral condyles apart. Let's talk about the anatomy. Pathoanatomy. Okay, pathoanatomy. There are two possibilities. Either it can cause a T shaped fracture, or either it can cause. Y shape fracture. So this is Y shape fracture and this is T shape fracture. Okay. The fracture is generally badly communicated communicated and displaced. So when the these uh, fractures are displaced, the two condyles fail apart and are rotated along their what you call horizontal axis. Okay. So let's talk about the diagnosis. How do you diagnose? The patient usually have a very severe pain, swelling, okay, and there, there, there can be ecchymosis and crepitus around the elbow. The diagnosis is best by taking chest, yeah, sorry, by x-ray, right? Right, okay. The, you can take two x-rays. One is AP, okay, or a lateral waves, okay. So how do you treat it? Well, the treatment, it depends on the displacement, remember. An undisplaced fracture, what you have to do? Support in above the elbow plaster slab for 3 to 4 weeks. Slab for 3 to 4 weeks. Okay, followed by exercises. And displaced fracture is treated generally by open reduction and internal fixation open reduction internal fixation okay remember if it's undisplaced what you have to do just need a support in the above elbow plaster slab for three to four weeks if it's displaced what you have to do you have to do or if that's open reduction and internal fixation in some severe cases the olecranon pin 
traction is given okay electron pin traction is given to reduce the fracture right so what are the complications the complications can be stiffness of the elbow and this is the most common complication why because of the intra articular nature of this fracture that's why okay and this stiffness this fracture can be associated with myositis ossificans okay stiffness of the elbow is the most common cause and uh, it can be associated with the myositis ossificans the other complications like malunion malunion okay Usually what happens, the fracture usually unites, but may unite in a bad position. That's why known as a mall union, okay? And this can lead to what you call cubitus varus or valgus deformity. Cubitus varus or valgus deformity. Okay? And the other thing that can cause, that can be a complication of this fracture is osteoarthritis. Let me write OA, okay? Osteoarthritis. So this is about the brief discussion about the intercondylar fracture of the humerus. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.